So at the start of your internship, your first three months are at Western Psychiatric Hospital, where you can expect to see all mental health diagnosis and really all ages there. And in this setting, you're gonna be working with groups. Interns start their UPMC journey here at Western Psychiatric Hospital, and our focus on the first three months is on building musical, clinical, and leadership skills, as well as confidence and trust in one's own abilities as a music therapist. I work on a variety of our floors using skill building groups to help patients in psychiatric crisis uh, to learn how to cope, overcome, and develop a life worth living. Uh, our groups can range in any size from you know, three or four to up to 15. Uh, I serve populations from our children's group, which uh, serves ages four to 14, uh, all the way up to our full grown adults. And we even have geriatric floor here uh, at Western Psych. What I love the most about our internship program is the fact that our interns can gain experience working with a large variety of clinical populations that are served by music therapists and they get to work with all ages. Then when you come over here to Children's Hospital, which is the second half of your internship, you can expect to see all ages as well. So we see neonates up until mid-20s here. Most of our work here at Children's is individual work and we heavily work in family-centered care as well. So you may be seeing parents and siblings and other caregivers at bedside as well. When you're here, you're gonna have the opportunity to continue expanding upon your musical and your clinical skills. A typical day could be coming in here getting your book ready for the day, seeing if there's any new patients for your caseload, and then going out onto the floor and working with patients all over the hospital. So while you're here at Children's Hospitals, there are gonna be a lot of opportunities for interdisciplinary treatment. Some of the areas that you will possibly have the opportunity to co-treat with is art therapy, child life, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech pathology. Our interns have often shared how they feel prepared to walk into whatever setting awaits them after completing our internship program. Here at UPMC, we are very committed to being able to foster your growth and offer you an experience that really speaks to the diversity of learning. We are committed to providing you with an experience that really embodies letting you come out as the most authentic version of yourself. We are there as the army of creative arts therapists to help children cope during hospitalization to express themselves, to tell their story about their medical journey through art and music therapy. So I think one of the most rewarding things about being the internship director is a chance to get to sit down and talk with students from across the nation and to hear their passion and to hear how excited they are about this. I am equally as excited to meet you as well. My name is Megan and I'm the internship director for the music therapy program at the Behavioral uh, Health Center for Tallahassee Memorial located in Tallahassee, Florida. A little bit about our program, we have two start dates that uh, change slightly depending on what day of the week the day falls on. Um, it will be uh, July start dates and January start dates. We have two interns at a time um, and they complete that full six months together. A little bit about our facility, we have three units. We have our unit one, which has adult patients um, from 18 until however old, and a lot of times they have a dual diagnosis with substance use disorder or sometimes anxiety disorders, depression disorders, um, or variety of mood disorders, and then also sometimes personality disorders. We have a second adult unit, that's our unit three, and that unit has adults who need a little bit higher level of care, that's our acute care unit. And many times our patients on that unit have um, male illnesses such as schizophrenia, dementia, Alzheimer's, or sometimes they're struggling with reality orientation and um, they're there to figure out exactly what their needs are and, and what the diagnosis might be. And then lastly, we have our Adolescent and Children's Unit, and that has patients that ages range from about six years old to 17 years old. And um, they're usually coming to us with a variety of mental illness concerns or behavioral concerns. Um, 
The average length of stay for our patients is between three and five days. And so we get to work with them for that, that time frame. Um, interns will be working alongside the music therapist, an art therapist, and a recreation therapist. Obviously, you're doing your supervision with me as being the music therapist. But that is one thing that's unique to our site is that you get to um, work with a variety of different disciplines and it is part of a multidisciplinary team. Um, without further ado, I want to give you all an opportunity to hear from some of our current and, and former interns and some of the reasons that they came and worked at the Behavioral Health Center and completed their internship with us. Hey guys, my name is Heather. I am the current intern at TMBHC. I'm so excited that I applied because it, I get to work with all ages in behavioral health from children ages six all the way up to senior adults. And I'm super excited to work with my intern supervisor, Megan, because she seemed really cool during the interview. And that's one reason why I accepted because I feel like it's a good fit. And I am looking forward to helping people because I love helping people and I'm excited to move on on once I become board certified to help others. And with this internship, I can learn to help others better to prepare me for the future. Hello, my name is Trevor and I am about to start my internship at the TMHBHC. And one of the biggest reasons that I chose to apply to this internship was for being able to work with a bunch of different age groups on the facility and being able to see how mental health changes and stays the same across the lifespan. So I think that's actually one of the biggest like takeaways and things that I'm read like I feel that I'm going to be prepared for is that when I leave the internship, I will be able to work with the mental health needs of a bunch of different populations, whether it's in a mental health facility or not. Hi, my name is Christian Bellis and I did my internship at BHC in fall 2019. So one of my favorite parts about the internship was the high turnover of patients. Uh, that meant that every time that we walked into the unit, the group was slightly different. And each time we had to ask ourselves, what do patients need today? What can they accomplish today? And how can our interventions uh, help them accomplish those things? Um, so one of the skills that I really, really had to work on were listening skills. Um, we don't have a lot of time to assess uh, patients uh, throughout a long period of time so really need to have those listening skills ready um, for the assessment process and for the actual groups uh, with the discussions that come up during the music therapy sessions um, so it was really important to to get those skills uh, perfected in a way so one of the resources that we had available was having our supervisor really available to us most of the time uh, so my co-intern and I could uh, discuss what had happened in the groups, what had happened in our assessments, and really, really had a lot of opportunity to develop our clinical thinking skills and to really process what, what was going on throughout the internship. So all those skills that I had to learn and practice, I've been pretty much continuing to use them because I, I, was, I got hired at two other psychiatric facilities after completing the internship. So uh, it's been a great experience altogether. And My name is Gabby. I just finished my six month internship at the Behavioral Health Center. So I started um, the end of July, July 2020. And I went into uh, January. So my last day was January 8th, 2021. So my favorite part of internship was my daily unknown interactions with patients. I never knew exactly what was gonna happen. I would wake up in the morning and I'd be like, let's see what's gonna happen today. And it was just really exciting to get really comfortable being uncomfortable and learning how to think on my feet and have a plan but learn how to adjust that plan in accordance with patients or whatever was going on on the units as well as collaborating and working with the staff every day. I think one of the most useful experiences I learned at the Behavioral Health Center was how to match my my mood and my personality and my body language with a patient. So uh, I, I learned how to adjust in accordance to different patients and different needs. I also learned how to go from a group where I was working with six-year-olds or eight-year-olds to working with 70-year-olds the next hour. So I learned really quickly how to adjust uh, myself and what I needed to do to 
to match and connect with the other patients. I think something that future interns will learn and really benefit from this site is the vast majority of patients that you deal with. You have a whole different host of reasons why patients are at the Behavioral Health Center and you have many different experiences behind each of those patients, different stories, as well as I mentioned before the different age ranges from like six years old to 70 or 80 years old. So you you get to have different experiences and you get to, you get to learn from different patients and that's a really I think unique thing about the site at the Behavioral Health Center. One of the skills I learned at internship that I know will carry to future job sites is to be versatile, to go with the flow, to be uncomfortable with whatever might happen, but to go with it and have a, a plan, but let what happens happen and greet each day and each experience with a positive attitude and a smile.